Okay, folks, it's official. 2011 was the ninth warmest year on record. Well, at least since 1880 when they started really tracking these things. Um, they've also noticed that a lot of those, uh, a lot of the ones that are in those top nine have been more recent than one would expect. They're not evenly distributed, so let's watch out for this. The big story in the RSOE today, we had another mass fish death, this one in the Gulf of Aden. Always interesting stuff happening there. We'll put this link below. Um, pretty good article about comet corpses in the solar wind. Now, what I really want to draw your attention to in here um, is not uh, how our solar wind is now a bit more dangerous uh, than it otherwise would have been because of all the Kreutz comets that are coming up and disintegrating close to the sun, but they talk about how these comets seem to be interacting with the magnetic loops uh, and how there may actually be some kind of relationship between magnetic interactions with the sun and these comets. That's something that a lot of us here have been uh, looking into for a while and uh, down at the bottom of this article they have a full paper that's really gonna, uh, at least in my opinion, uh, blow this thing wide open. Electric universe, here we come. It's all about magnetism. Folks, you may have heard that the United States is considering closing a, uh, the embassy in Syria. But what you may not have heard, and uh, most of these stories are coming from Ria Novosti, this is a Russian site. Uh, they do a pretty good job here and they're very unbiased. What you might not have heard is that there is a Russian ship that was bound for Syria with a bunch of weapons. Now after the US voiced concern uh, in Cyprus, uh, this ship was detained. Uh, and it was only let go after it promised it wasn't going to Syria and of course a few days later the Turkish media reports that it is in Syria. This little uh, ejection you can see coming out of the bottom uh, of the disc right there, uh, this was a coronal mass ejection that came off about a day before the big one and it just uh, struck our magnetosphere uh, a couple hours ago. You can see it here on the stereo uh, on the stereo B. Not as big as the uh, big one that we have coming later today, but it is uh, causing some disturbance on the Fluxgate magnetometer, and hopefully that'll die down before uh, the big one hits. Now this one is expected uh, to hit sometime later today, and it is expected to give a pretty good shock to our magnetosphere. Might even get some geomagnetic storms. You can see it there uh, coming out. It is just behind that big one. We'll watch it again. You see it uh, come out there at the beginning. So folks, uh, that's pretty much what it is. We have to watch out for this big solar active region and we also have to watch out for uh, another ejection that's pretty much happening right now. We're going to have to update you on this. Watch just behind that filament and then watch the filament itself, the dark one. All right, Watch the ejection right here and then watch that dark filament. It starts to lift right there. We're going to have to update this in a few hours, but it looks like we could have another ejection on its way to Earth. Let's keep an eye on this today, folks. Be safe.